What's up guys? Today we are starting season 4 of Breaking Bad. So last season ended off like pretty intense. So we had Gus trying to replace Walt with Gale, you know, trying to get Gale to learn all his methods and shit. And I guess Walt kind of like figured that since he and Jesse had a plan of their own. So once Walt got captured in a way and they were about to kill him, he got to call Jesse and be like, go through with our plan. And Jesse ended up going through with the plan. R.I.P. Gus. I was about to call him Gus. R.I.P. Gale. It's two G names, so I got confused. But yeah, I liked Gale, so I feel bad that that happened to him. But the show must go on, you know? So I'm ready to see what the season's gonna start us off with. So let's just get into it. <laughs> But you were dead. Unless this is like a flashback. <laughs> it has to be a flashback because that's like whenever they were setting up the lab. That's like already set up now. I doff my proverbial cap to you, sir. <laughs> when do you think we'll be up and running? Within a month, I'd say. Two weeks. Okay. So, Gail put that whole lab together and got fired because of Walt, then came back, and then now he's dead. That don't sound fair. And I can't, as of yet, account for the blue color. But, um, if that is our competition, we have our work cut out for us. You don't have any competition, Gail. Not as far as I'm concerned. But it won't happen. I don't consider him a professional. If he's not, I don't know what that makes me. Damn, okay. It's just so weird how they're talking about him like this right now before, like, everything, you know? Like, even Gail admires him. So we're starting back to it. Okay. Just to give us that little clip. So you guys good in directions there? You want me to? They're coming east or west? It, if they're heading east, tell me. It hit the pot? It went straight through Gale and hit the pot. Mister, this is a crime scene. You don't want to touch anything. Mister. Mister, you listening to me? Through the eye, I thought it was like a forehead, but it still killed the man. Little bastard. Drive. I thought Jesse would have drove off already. He let the man get in his car. Jesse really could have been on his way, but he was so in shock, he got himself caught. And it's like, I can't blame the dude. Because it's a scary thing to do. He didn't want to kill Gail in the first place, so... Oh, shit. Alright. So... Shit. I can't do anything to him. Which was the point. So, like. What about you? Yeah. So what? Just another looky-loo. 
that kind of scared me that he might get shot himself by Mike. You see, I don't think he'd do that. I guess I better get this over with. Now, Gus is gonna freak out. Where is Gus in all of this? Is he just at home? As always. Yeah, they seem to be getting bigger instead of smaller. Not really sure what that's all about. Yeah, Skylar seems like hella worried. But it's like, you have the money, but then also it's like, you wanted to keep the money, but you're helping Hank, you know? His car's parked in the driveway. It's not a state secret. I d oh, all right. Okay, I'm not pressing. I just, I think that it's great. Is she not going to question it? Because Walt's not home. So is she not going to be like, where the hell is he? Did he tell you where that key was? Because you just looked in one spot and found it. So he had to have told you. Or would that be a spare key? Just parking the car somewhere else? What if it gets towed? People don't, if you don't know them people, you don't park in front of their house. As angry as he may be, I don't believe he's willing to forfeit an entire batch. That just might make him angrier. So you're going to cook while you're being held hostage. Are you about to try and do this shit yourself? Watch me. We ain't missing no cook. So you're gonna do it and I give them a mask. Why are you just watching her? Saul, Skylar White calling. Saul. So Saul's not there. He's checking to see if the room's bugged. You sure? As in, you know where he is? Well, I'm not the man's keeper, but Walt's a big boy. He'll turn up. Calling her from a payphone. But yeah, he's still, he don't know who's listening and on what. He carpools. He carpools to his job at a meth lab. Hey, oh, 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 you're breaking up there. I didn't quite catch that last. Why is she not? careful with that shit yeah uh albuquerque i'm in uh knob hill i need the number for a locksmith i don't know pick one well, um no nothing look maybe um a car registration that would have you no but i can't even get in my car my car kings were on the same room She's really gonna get that man to help her break into Walt's place. Oh God, man. Not listen. Call the pharmacy. Are you okay? Please just, please just take her. Just take her, please. She low key a good actor. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Truly. Ah, uh, so he helped her with it, I swear. You 
do know where I live, right? <sighs> Sir, again, thank you so much. Really. Yeah. <sighs> He's like, I'm done with you. <laughs> What's wrong with her? It's like she's preparing to go in there. Has he still been, has he still been like an ass? Marie, if you and him and everybody else in America secretly took a vote and Change the meaning of the entire English language. Yeah, I guess I broke new ground. It's still somewhat progress, bro. You gotta give yourself some kind of credit. I need the thing. Okay. Numero uno. Dos. I didn't think they'd show the process. All right, I just want to go on a record. We should all be wearing masks. That's what I was saying earlier. He didn't give anyone else a mask. You forgot the aluminum. One of the first steps in the I look, he thought he heard you. So. So that dude's learning his process. So what does that mean? Hi, Gus. All right, let's talk about Gail Bedecker. He's a good man and a good chemist, and I cared about him. I'm surprised Gus hasn't even said anything yet and let Walt have the first word. When you make it Gail versus me or Gail versus Jesse, Gail loses. Simple as that. You don't fuck with them like that. It's like he seems so unbothered, but he is. Bothered, you know. Certainly not him. This, this person doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Been watching but then you got scared. Stepped his cook. So it's like, yeah, he knows a little bit of your process. So what now? You kill that man too, somehow? I'm following a recipe. Simple, complicated, it doesn't matter. Steps never change. And I know every step. Oh. So, what what is Gus doing, bro? What happens in the summer when 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 the humidity rises and your product goes cloudy? How would you guard against that, huh? Are you about to cut him? Um. You kill me, you have nothing. You kill Jesse. You don't have me. The way he still like sticks up for Jesse. It's sweet. Let us work, work, work. We're ready to go to work. We'll just pick up right where we left off. I knew something was gonna happen. I swear I I had a feeling he was standing next to the dude, so I'm like, is he gonna do something to him? And he slit his throat. Well, that kind of shows how scary that man is. Like, why kill him? Is it because people saw him? 
or just a way to like intimidate them. He's just like, let me wash off real quick, you know? Like, you do not just slit a man's throat. I don't even think he said a word. Even Jesse hasn't even said a word this whole episode, I don't think. So, like... So you cut a man's throat and dip without a single word. Well, get back to work. That's all you gotta say. I thought you would have said more shit. Okay. Are they gonna do what they were supposed to do with the other dude in like the first season and put him in a plastic bucket and fill it with that shit that he put in the bathtub? So you're just gonna watch Mike? What's your point of being there? Get out. Finally, like, you couldn't have helped sooner? Were they just watching it, like, burn that man's flesh and shit? No one's ever gonna find the body. I did not want to see that transition from blood to ketchup. I just noticed you still got a tag on your shirt, Walt. I mean, you know. How are you doing? He's checking in on him. Our next move, given the fact that at the first opportunity, Gus will kill us. Well, that wasn't an opportunity just now. I thought that was an opportunity, but... Good luck with that. But it took him years to find Gail. <sighs> Betty's sorry now. He's gonna be like, where's my car? Wait, you're telling me you didn't see that your car wasn't there as you were pulling up in a taxi? Um, it's it's parked over in Amston. Junior was about to get up and uh, he would have seen it, so I wanted to avoid a lot of questions. Okay, so that's why she did it. Do you have your keys? Yep. Um, it's parked three blocks down on the right. You're not gonna drive him to it? You're gonna let that man walk? Is there a shadow here? 
every day is trying to trick me into doing battle, calling out fake love. His lab notes are there. His lab notes are there. They're gonna find out shit. Wait. Is Gail gonna be the reason they were caught? And it's like Jesse didn't even think to like go in the house and make sure he doesn't have anything in his house. But then it's like, aren't you supposed to like not even keep that kind of shit in your house? Like, why bring that home with you in case something does happen and then they, like, look in your home, you know? I swear to God, if Gail is the reason they get caught, I just feel so bad because, yeah, Jesse had to kill him and he wasn't in his right mind to, like, check to see if there was anything that he needed to, like, pick up, but... He had his lab notes and the cops are gonna have that. I'm really, ho what else, what else would that be? It wouldn't be anything other than that, like shit for the actual lab. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's like so much happened this episode in a way. You know, what's it called? It's like ever since the beginning, Ever since, like, that dude was standing next to Mike, I thought something was gonna happen to the dude, but it didn't. And then Gus kills the man, and it was in a gory way, too. Straight up, slit throat, watch the man bleed out, put him in front of Walt and Jesse. They're, like, speechless. Jesse barely said anything the whole episode. He's... He started talking within like maybe the last 15 minutes, but like, I swear, like, <laughs> what a start to the season. It's like now we know that the cops are possibly going to be on their trail because of the lab notes and it's like low key. I didn't think that whenever Jesse shot Gail, it would literally just go like, uh, go through and then hit the pot. Like, what kind of shit is that? I thought maybe it would have just stayed in the man's head or something, but I guess not. But then he was like, close. And I'm pretty sure that like the distance between people whenever you get shot, it kind of like, you see, I'm not even going to try and explain that because I'm not good with it. So I'm gonna just leave it at what I said, but yeah, I just, it was so weird seeing Gail like that. He was a good dude, ended up in the middle of their shit and bam, he's dead. He even, like I said at the beginning of the episode, he literally like helped put together that whole lab for Gus to get Fired because of Walt, then rehired, and then killed. What kind of shit is that? Like, why does that happen to Gail? I feel bad. Like, he didn't deserve that kind of shit. But, <sighs> shit happens to everyone. It doesn't. I, don't, I wouldn't say it wouldn't matter if you're good or bad, but look at Gail. He's dead. I just want to know what's going to happen next with all this shit because <laughs> Gus was intimidating. Mike was like, the whole time, he was just standing and watching. But like, yeah, I just want to see what's going to happen with everything else. What's going to ha happen whenever the cops, you know look through the lab notes so i guess come back for episode two